remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A mom in Massachusetts reportedly paid a palm reader over $70,000 after she was convinced by the woman that her daughter was possessed. Tracy Milanovich, the proprietor of Tracy's Psychic Palm Reader, was indicted earlier this week for the alleged scam police began investigating last month. She reportedly finessed the scared mother out of over $70,000, as well as towels and bedding, among other things. The Palm Reader is reportedly being charged with larceny, obtaining property by trick and witness intimidation, and authorities are now asking that anyone else who has been scammed by Milanovic in the past to report their encounter. The victim started visiting Milanovic back in November. This is when the woman told her not only did her daughter have something inside of her that was bad, but she too was dead to God. That is when the woman became very concerned. Among the services reportedly provided by Milanovic were lighting candles in which she charged $1,000 each. She also convinced the woman that a payment of $6,058 was needed in order to buy back both her and her daughter's soul. These palm readers, these psychics, they are the biggest scammers in the world next to snake oil preachers and Donald Trump and the likes of him. Absolutely amazing. I don't believe in psychics, but is it really a scam if they know what they're getting into? If you advertise your services and you say, I'm going to read your poem. This is what I see. I see this. I see this for you. And you're giving them, giving them the feel good because that's all it really is. You're just trying to make people feel good. You're giving them some feel good. And because they want to believe that whatever it is that their psychic is telling, especially if you, you're dealing with somebody who has had a, the loss of a loved one. People are so connected. They don't want to let go. And, you know, they can see a they can see a horse walking down the street and then they'll be like, and the horse be brown, and they'll be like, she told me that something brown, like either uh, uh, something brown colored will stand out today. And, you know, that horse, you know, it has something to do with my son's death. I just know it does. You know, they'll tell you whatever they think you want to hear. After she got the money, it looks like, it looks like after she got the money out of her for the daughter, she started working on the mother. Like, you know, she, I got me a good one right here. Let me juice this thing. See, they try to juice it in levels. They don't try to get you all at one time. They don't hit you with everything because they got to keep you coming back. Keep you coming back. Keep you coming back. That's the goal. Give you a little bit more. Each time, a little bit more, a little bit more. It just amazes me, the people that, that fall for this stuff. I know educated people that believe in this stuff. The thing is, what's crazy is that how do you tell them not to believe when you have people that believe in other things? You know, and they spend their money for those things that they believe in. You have people that spend their money to go hiking, to jump out of planes, to go to the club and party. You know, some of us find that those type of things ridiculous. People spend $5,000 to go skiing. We find that outrageous. Waste of money, right? But it makes them feel good. And if that's the price to feel good, who are we really to try to discredit them or criticize them? 
I'm just playing devil's advocate here, you know. I'm just trying to see, you know. I, it's not for me, though. Psychic thing is not definitely not for me. Um, but, you know, if I were to go to the gym and I went there to work out, but I actually didn't really work out. I just went and I stared at the women or, I, you know, worked out for 10 minutes and left. I didn't really do the exercises. I didn't really get any weight training in or any lifting in or any of that. Didn't really benefit me. Can I really be mad at the fitness facility or my trainer? Or is that on me? I will say this, though. I'm not superstitious. Not at all. Uh, people, in fact, I was with my boy the other night. We were walking, and there was a pole, like, right in the middle of, like, the sidewalk. And he went around one way, and I went the other way. And he was like, oh, wait a minute. And he turned back around and went the way that I went. What you doing, man? Oh, man, I'm superstitious. Like, man, I don't believe in that stuff. I went back and split the pole on purpose. I just don't believe in that stuff. You know, black cats and and breaking a mirror and seven days bad luck or seven weeks, whatever they call it. I don't believe in none of that stuff. None of it. None of that superstitious stuff. And for, But people who do believe in that stuff, they are the most gullible. They are the easiest to get them to dig in their pocket. You can easily get them to dig in their pocket. You can easily finesse them because they're gullible. That's why religion is such a booming business, if you really think about it. You know, they deal with a, a whole lot of, of gullible people. But what I want to know, speaking of religion, is, again, how is it a scam what these people do that do the psychic reading? How do they get arrested? How is it a scam when you have all of these pastors who do the exact same thing week after week after week after week and they're praised. Maybe y'all got the answer because I can't figure it out. Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.